and welcome to Lidi's Book Club podcast. I'm Lidi Bio and I'm so happy you're here. As you might have guessed by my accent, English is not my first language and this is why I created this book club and this podcast. I want to show you that even if you're not a native speaker, you can start reading in English or create a podcast. So in this podcast, obviously I'm going to talk about books, but also I will be sharing with you my reading and learning journey in English. But most importantly, I want to share with you the tips that helped me level up my reading experience, no matter if you are a beginner or an advanced. Yes, even if you are a beginner, you can read books in English. And for that, I have a free guide that will show you exactly how to become a confident reader in English in six simple steps. Grab the guide from the link in the description. Hi, lovely readers, and welcome to episode one, Reading Mindset. Um, I'm so happy today we're going to talk about uh, reading mindset. And my first question to you is, how do you feel about reading in English at the moment? What kind of questions, what kind of state are you in? And is it hard for you to focus on a text or on a chapter? Is it uh, difficult for you to connect with the characters or the plot? Do you feel frustrated that uh, you are not able to understand every single word? Um, do you feel that you're too slow? Uh, the simple idea to read in English makes you feel stressed. Um, do you feel like your level in English is not good enough to start reading in English? Or do you simply feel lost and don't know where to start? So if one of these questions are the ones that you are asking yourself or telling yourself um, that you're too slow, that you're not good enough, um, then I might help you here. So these questions are completely normal. And uh, so don't worry about it. Uh, it. It is the feeling that I had when I started reading or even before um, starting to read in English, I was actually not aware that I could read books in English and even if I had a very low level in English, in English it's just because I was not aware of what was possible for me and lessons at school were kind of traditional um, and often based, and the reading activities often were based on extracts of text or extracts of passages from a book or I don't even remember, but they were very often short extract and the teacher would ask us what we understood from what how we what we could understand from the text and it was very i remember it was very hard and very frustrating because when you don't have when you're not immersed in a story you don't have much information about the author or background um, story of or, or just background information on the book or the topic that you are um, studying it's very hard to 
understand what's going on in an extract in a text especially when it's an extract coming from a book um so i it was easy to feel it was easy to feel like you would not if it, it was this kind of feeling like um if i'm not able to understand this short passage then how could i possibly understand a whole book you know this is how you would um make this in how you would yeah you you would make up that image in your in your mind and that belief sorry uh, that belief in your mind that um if a simple short a short text like this is not achieve accessible to you or you're not able to understand then um how could you start reading a book um and and that that of course affect enormously your self beliefs and your confidence and this is one of the reasons why i started very late um i started reading in english um only when i was an adult and when i was living in the uk and starting to feel it's only when i started to feel very confident and i was completely immersed in the culture and the country that i was like okay so maybe now now i'm able to read in english only now and this is one of the reason this is the main reason why i want to show people and why i create this book club is to show people and guide as well people to get the confidence and to show them that even if you have an A1 level you're a beginner you can start reading in english and it's going to be a very short book but it will be possible and um and this is how you're going to build up your confidence and i want to to be able to encourage, encourage people to read um in english but also to enjoy reading because we often hear in the news or in this, in surveys or statistics that people read less or they they read less books or whatever or students especially kids read less and um I want to show that there are so many books types of books that are available now and that authors or like new authors are creating or publishers are trying to to make accessible um reading in english accessible that um and to show that that there are so many types of book that you are you are now have access to but people are not necessarily aware of it and um this is um the whole point of this uh book club and talking about it in this podcast as well So back to our reflection on your reading mindset and how you see how how do you feel about reading because I think that it's very important to set the ground and to um or to set the foundation of your reading mindset because if you understand why you're not reading or why you're frustrated in your reading then you will be able to have a much better experience after that once you understand where you're coming from you are able to change your habits or 
um, try new things to help you with your struggles in in reading and even if it's not if even if it's not about reading in english but just about reading that might help you as well i don't know maybe you tell me um so now i want to ask you why why do you have these thoughts why do you think that you're not focused why uh, what makes you feel that uh, you are too slow um, why does reading in english makes you feel stress make you feel stressed sorry or why do you think that your level is not good enough so now try to reflect on these thoughts and um try to answer those questions or the questions that correspond the best to you and i'm gonna try to guide you in your reflection and help you maybe um find the answers that that may that might explain why you are not Uh, you, you, why you're feeling that way about reading in English. So, is it hard for you to focus because you are not interested in a topic? Just as simple as that. Is it the reason? Um, or are you tired at the time that you choose to read that text or that book? Um Is it difficult for you to connect with the characters or the story um, because you don't have enough information on the topic or about the, the author or the background context, the, the whole context of the story and the reasons why the author wrote that book? Um, Now, um, why is understanding every single word for you, why uh, having to understand every single word is important to you? And do you feel that one single word in a sentence or in a passage will enable you to understand the whole chapter or the whole book? really is will that enable you to not understand everything the 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 major id or what the 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 author wants what 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 is the message uh of the chapter or the id that wants to um Uh, that the author wants to um, transfer or, or what is his message, basically. So do you believe that you're too slow because you compare yourself to others? Or do you compare yourself to your reading speed in your native language? This is often what we tend to do as a non-native English speaker or when you're learning a new language. Um, do you feel stressed that... Uh, do you feel stressed because the level that you're reading is too high for you or you, for your level? Or do you feel that uh, You're, you're stressed because you set yourself unrealistic goals in terms of reading. Um, do you feel that you're not good enough because, again, you compare yourself to others? Or do you compare yourself to native speakers as well? Or did someone... A teacher or a friend who has uh, who's very good in English or someone that you see as a respected voice 
in uh, the field tell talk, did, did that person tell you that your level of english wasn't good enough and so you believe that now um do you feel lost because you need some guidance and you don't know what kind of books are available to you um or to your level so i'm gonna let you think about these thoughts for now <laughs> in this episode this is a reflection episode today now please let me know in the comments how you feel about reading and what kind of feelings that brings up to you and from your past reading experiences i'll be happy to read your comments and answer any of your questions i see you next week in the next episode if you like this content make sure you subscribe to my youtube channel and grab my free guide the six simple steps to start reading in english the link is in the description